I want to get to something more important. Uh, you, you testified uh, early on in your testimony, and there were a couple of questions about the uh, issue we have with the increasing number of minor children that are uh, crossing the border. In fact, uh, there are two facilities uh, in the district that I represent that house those children, one in Bishop, Texas, and uh, I'm sorry, Driscoll, Texas, and literally four blocks from my uh, Residents and I, I've toured uh, one of those facilities and spoken to the people and they say they can't deal with the children fast enough. There are so many coming in. You mentioned that you uh, went to a, a facility in McAllen that was uh, overcrowded uh, with children. And your suggestion and answer to one of the questions of how we fix this uh, is an ad campaign saying it's dangerous to cross the border uh, illegally. And I, I'm concerned that that isn't enough. I think in a well-intentioned manner, we have created an incentive uh, for parents who are in this country, lawfully or unlawfully, to uh, hire a coyote to bring their children across, uh, let them get captured, and we deliver them to the parents at uh, over a billion dollars, I think, last year expense. Or, uh, I think the numbers are, you know, 60, there are thousands. I don't, want to, I don't want to get the number wrong either. Um, do, you, do you think an advertising campaign really is going to be enough, or are there some policy changes that we need to make to solve this? No, clearly not by itself, sir, and I, I don't think I really got a chance to finish my answer to the question. <clears throat> a, a public messaging directly to the parents of these kids is an important aspect of it, but it's not the only answer, clearly. I think that we have, to, we have to do a better job of attacking the network. And I'm reviewing statistics recently. Well, of course, of, just real quickly, my fear is that as drug cartels who run a lot of these human smuggling operations are losing revenue, whether it's uh, increased enforcement or legalization of marijuana in parts of this country, they're losing revenue. My fear is that these uh, coyotes turn more into traffickers and either hold out for more money once the child is across the border, or worse yet, uh, take those children into uh, sex slavery and some form of human trafficking. I want to give you an, a an opportunity to fully outline what you propose, because I'm, I really am concerned we are unintentionally incentivizing very, very dangerous comment that has already cost the life of at least one child I've seen and will cost the lives of more. Um, going after the network is important, and we are increasing prosecutions of smugglers. I think smuggling organizations, as you've pointed out, are the key to this. Nobody freelances across the southwest border that I've seen. They're all, the, the, they're all paying smuggling organizations to get them up the east coast of Mexico into South Texas and then into the interior of our country three or four thousand dollars a head or whatever the amount is. So I think an important part of this is increased prosecutions of smuggling organizations, those engaged in this activity, many of whom can be found in the United States. And so I think that's part of it. And I think that there are other things that we need to consider that I'm considering this afternoon uh, when I go back to meet with my team on UACs, uh, because this is a problem that we have to address for a number of reasons, including the humanitarian reasons. Any way I can help, please let me know. I see my time has expired. I would like to spend some more time with you Thank talking you. about it.